As the weather gets colder, you might notice a tire pressure warning in your car. Now, it's a common problem during the winter months. News 10's Madison Zaleski is live in Terre Haute. She tells us how you can have a smoother ride this winter. Low temperatures typically mean a lower tire pressure. There are a couple ways to check your tires. One, the tire pressure indicator will let you know, or you can simply just check the tires yourself and see if they are thin. Megan Stiegel constantly fills up her tires. When she first encountered a low tire pressure light pop up on her dashboard, she wasn't sure what it meant. Yeah, the first time I definitely like freaked out because I'm like, why is there a light in my car? Um, but uh, I just normally kind of ignored it, which is not good for your tires uh, until all of a sudden they were kind of low. And I'm like, I don't think I should be driving right now on this. The tire pressure monitoring system is an important safety feature that measures air pressure in your car's tires. And as it gets colder outside, you may notice that light turning on more frequently. Cold air is more dense than warm air. That means the pressure drops inside your car's tires. Air in the tires condenses with the temperature dropping outside. So normally you'll get like one pound of drop for every about 10 degrees that the temperature goes down outside. In Terre Haute, from Tuesday to Wednesday, temperatures will drop about 30 degrees. That means your tires could lose three pounds of pressure in just one day. Bass says low tire pressure will not only negatively affect your gas mileage, it'll damage your tires faster. Once they get so low, they kind of, when the sidewalls start to, to smush down on each other, they rub together and it'll ruin the tire. Stiegel carries a portable tire inflator with her in case she runs into any trouble. She says she can definitely feel a difference in driving her car when her tires are low. My tires should normally be around 33, um, but I think I last time I, like a couple weeks ago, they got down to like 25, 24, uh, and I was starting to feel a little bit unsteady as I was driving, so that probably should have been the time that I filled it up. If you're unsure where your air pressure should be, it's going to be right here and the right amount of pressure on the inside of your driver's side door. Reporting live in Terre Haute, Mass and Zaleski, News 10.